Welcome to our Behind the Music video series, your backstage pass into how real customers, and sometimes Atlassians, are using Atlassian's Jira service management to deliver exceptional service experiences every day. In this episode, we'll walk through how to use Jira service management assets for inventory management by taking a look at tracking two things, whiskey and laptops. Yes, you heard me right. To help me explain a quick pop quiz, what do whiskey and a laptop have in common? Their life cycle and inventory can both be tracked in Jira Service Management's flexible asset repository, enabling teams to easily link to service requests, incidents, problems, changes, and any other type of practice you need. Increasing visibility in the flow of work between all service teams across the business. Let's dive into the whiskey first. I bring you virtually to a whiskey tasting salon where they're using Jira service management to take tasting orders, share their available catalog with customers, and keep track of their inventory. Each table is equipped with an iPad that customers use to order their tasting flights. At first glance of the portal, we see the salon is using announcements to bring attention to limited time samplings. Moving down the form to fill out our selection, we can either click to choose by type and region or flavor profile. Thanks to this dynamic form that's pulling from our asset repository, only whiskeys that are both in stock and fit the modifiers I choose will show. Choosing dried fruit and nut brings results of whiskeys that fit that flavor profile. On the agent side of this whiskey request, which is what the waitstaff used to fulfill the tasting orders, You'll notice all the key information is stored within the object details in our asset repository. Clicking on the object details for a specific whiskey tells me which room in the tasting salon it's located, right down to the cabinet and shelf. Each whiskey also has details for type, region, class, and description. Linked issues show who's ordered this whiskey in the past, so it's easy to see which varieties are most popular. Now that the whiskey is delivered, let's go back to the queue. Looks like Glenfiddich is running low. Thanks to automation, a restock request has already been automatically assigned to staff to avoid running out and disappointing customers. Here's our whiskey schema, where all the details for the collection are stored, along with all their attributes. The way this schema is set up lends itself perfectly to the use case of tracking whiskey but most of us don't have the pleasure of doing that for a living. Before we get too carried away, let's take a look at how to track and manage laptops. Here's the IT employee asset schema in our repository, just like we saw for Whiskey. This schema graph has all the hardware that our employees use, including laptops. You'll notice that we have laptops and supported laptops. This ensures that we can track and keep separate the new laptops we're still stocking as well as laptops that are out of date or past refresh. Clicking into a specific laptop shows all the key information we're tracking. For laptops, we've chosen to track cost for accounting, screen size, RAM, and CPU to pair the right laptops with the right workers. Here's what the requester will see when they go to the portal to request a laptop. We're going to fill out a request for a new laptop since our current one is damaged. These custom fields set up from the Advanced tab are pulling from the asset repository that we just saw, and they ensure that requesters can only select laptops that are offered by the company and in stock, reducing friction and making the agent's life easier. Requiring fields ensures all necessary information is captured before the requester can submit. The agent opens the request and begins fulfilling it with all the information they need to do so at their fingertips. Now, since the request is fulfilled, the new laptop is associated with the employee who requested it and shows as in use. The old laptop shows as damaged. That covers how to handle tracking a laptop's life cycle. But what about restocking when the numbers are low? Just as we saw with Whiskey, here's a laptop restock request, thanks to automation. Let's take a look at how that's set up. First, you need to be signed into Global Administration to access assets automations. 
Our low-code, no-code automation engine makes it easy to automate many processes and procedures, and there are templates available in our library to get you started even faster. This rule will trigger when an IT employee asset is updated. Asset query language will determine if the model that's low is a model that we restock, for example, a laptop that we still offer and isn't retired. This condition checks if the restock number is greater than zero. This action searches the asset repository, and then this one counts how many of these laptops are there or in stock. This next condition determines if the restock level that we set in the repository is available. If not, then it will create a request to restock. And that's how you can track the life cycle of whiskey and laptops and trigger automatic requests for restock when necessary. Before we wrap up, let's take a look at some assets-based reports in Atlassian Analytics. Here, we're back to looking at our whiskey collection. You'll notice that the same data is visualized in different ways, so it's meaningful to the audience. Again, if whiskey isn't your day job, you can also create a report like the IT Assets report you see here. Whether you want to set up an asset repository that tracks the lifecycle and inventory of laptops, servers, contracts, and yes, even whiskey, assets in Jira Service Management is flexible and scalable to support your business needs. Stay tuned for more inspiring behind the music videos highlighting how our customers use Jira Service Management coming soon.